Hello, hi and welcome back to my channel. Now I am discussing few of the questions frequently asked for the radiographer's exam. I have included topics from anatomy, radiation physics, nuclear medicine, radio diagnosis as well as radiation safety. Along with the question and the answers, I have given a brief explanation too. So it will be helpful for all those who are preparing for the exam. So please do watch all the sessions and please do support me. And if you have any queries, please feel free to mail to my address which is given in my slide. So thank you. Welcome back to the part 8 exam coaching for radiographers. I have already discussed 75 questions. Today we will be discussing the remaining questions frequently asked for the radiographers exam. Question number 76. Barium enema include investigation of option A esophagus, option B small bowel, Option C, large bowel and option D, stomach. The answer is option C, large bowel. A barium enema is the radiographic x-ray examination of the lower gastrointestinal GI tract. The large intestine including the rectum is made visible on x-ray film by filling the contrast colon with a liquid suspension called barium sulfate. So barium sulfate is the contrast medium used for the GI tract and the other investigations are barium solo for esophagus, barium meal for stomach, barium meal follow through for small intestine and barium enema for large intestine or large bowel. Question number 77. Paranasal sinuses include all except option A, mastoid, option B, frontal, option C, maxillary and option D, sphenoid. The answer is option A, mastoid. Paranasal sinuses are a group of four paired air filled spaces that surround the nasal cavity. The maxillary sinuses are located under the eyes, frontal sinuses are above the eyes, ethmoid sinuses are between the eyes and sphenoid sinuses are behind the eyes. So when a patient is suffering from sinusitis, this air filled spaces will be filled with fluid at the time of cold and the patient will be having severe headache. So, from the above option, which is not coming under paranasal sinuses, is mastoid. Question number 78 Cat well view is option A occipital frontal with 15 degree corded angulation, option B frontal occipital with 15 degree corded angulation, option C lateral, option D lateral oblique. The answer is Option A, occipital frontal with 15 degree corded angulation. Corded means the x-ray tube is to, tilted towards the feet and cephalic angulation means the x-ray tube is tilted towards the head. Cord well view or occipital frontal view is the radiographic view of skull where the x-ray plate is perpendicular to the orbitomiatal line. So, orbitomiatal line means a line joining the outer canvas of the eye to the external auditory meatus. Here, the x-ray passes from behind the head. Since the view is occipital frontal, the first area of the view means if we are giving occipital frontal means the from the first word it is occipital means the ray is entering through behind the head. If it is frondo occipital means from the frondo we can determine that the ray is entering from front of the head. Means from the frontal area the ray is entering. To know more about the positioning and centering 
you may refer my previous session of positioning radiography positioning so here the ray is entering behind the head and it is angled about 15 to 20 degree to the radiography plate and by this view is commonly taken for the better view of the paranasal as well as frontal sinuses question number 79 most important component of x-ray fixer option a ammonium or sodium thiosulfate option b sodium bicarbonate option c acetic acid and option d sodium sulfate the answer is option a ammonium or sodium thiosulfate fixing solution were used in the dark room at the time of conventional radiography the main purpose of the fixing solution was to remove the unexposed silver which was not developed as well as to fix the image and to stop the further action of the developing solution if it is present on a radiographic film. And the most commonly used agent was sodium or ammonium thiosulfate and its purpose was to dissolve the unexposed silver. Question number 18. All are rare earth used in intensifying screens except Option A. Gut lanthanum oxybromide. Option B. Istrium tantalate. Option C. Gadolinium oxysulfide. And Option D. Calcium tungstate. The answer is Option D. Calcium tungstate. Rare elements are used in present day screens as they are faster and have higher absorption and conversion efficiency. Means the X-ray photons were converted into light photons and the rare earth phosphors were very faster in conversion efficiency and the light photons are coming under the visible spectra. That means the Vibgior and the gadolinium respond to the green light of the visible light as well as lanthanum to the blue light question number 81 which among is the contrast agent used in mri option a gadolinium option b iohexol option c iopamidol and i option d ioversol the answer is option a gadolinium Gadolinium contrast medium are chemical substance used in MRI, magnetic resonance imaging scans. When injected into the body, gadolinium contrast medium enhances and improves the quality of the MRI images. Here the other options, iohexol, iopamidol and ioversol all comes under Non-ionic contrast medium uh, which we are used in CT scan as well as for special investigation procedures. Question number 82. MRI is based on the magnetic property of body. Option A. Neutrons. Option B. Electrons. Option C. Ion. And Option D. Protons. The answer is option D. Protons. Magnetic resonance imaging MRI is a non-invasive imaging technology that produces three-dimensional detailed anatomical images. Three-dimensional means axial, coronal and sagittal and it is based on sophisticated technology that excites and dictates the change in the direction of the rotational axis of protons found in the water that make up living tissue. So 90% of the human body is comprises of water and the chemical formula of water is H2O and it determines on the protons of hydrogen. Question number 83. Isotope not used in thyroid study. 
ऑप्शन ए टेक्नीशियम 99 नियम ऑप्शन बी फास्फोरस 32 ऑप्शन सी आयोडीन 123 एंड ऑप्शन डी आयोडीन 131 द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी फास्फोरस 32 thyroid scan checks for the even spread of the tracer in the gland more than 20 radio trace active tracers exist of which two isotopes of iodine iodine 123 and iodine 131 and technetium 99m pertectinate are the usual agents used in this test so the thyroid scans are usually done in the nuclear medicine department where we will be injecting this technetium 99m into the patient's body and we will be determining the uptake of tracer within the thyroid gland as well as the other isotopes of iodine will also be used so the isotope which is not used in the thyroid study from the above option is phosphorus 32 Question number 84. Swimmer's view is taken for which region? Option A. Cervicothoracic region. Option B. Thoracolumbar region. Option C. Shoulder. And option D. Scapula. The answer is option A. Cervicothoracic region. The swimmer's view is an x-ray of the cervicothoracic junction that helps determine the upper thoracic and the seventh cervical vertebrae. So thank you so much for your patient listening. Hope you all are clear with the today's session. If you have any queries and if you have to include any such topics, you may please feel free to mail to my address parvati pages 1609 at gmail.com so once again thank you so much and keep watching and stay tuned for the next session if you have liked my session don't forget to like subscribe as well as to share with your friends colleagues and those who all are preparing for the exam